Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to deploy Helm packages into Kubernetes cluster in the CI CD pipeline using Azure DevOps. We'll start by creating the package, installing Helm on the client machine, then from the CI pipeline we'll go and deploy that package into the Kubernetes cluster. Of course, that's after installing Helm on the Kubernetes which is called a class uh, tiller. Let's start by the build pipeline. Right here I have linked the source code for my application, which is on GitHub right here where you have the, all the uh, files needed to run and build the application along with the code source for the uh, Helm chart that is defined in this folder. After that, we'll start by building and pushing the MVC contain, uh, Docker application. So we'll build it, then we'll push it to Docker Hub. Then we'll start installing Helm on the client machine. This is an important part, and we need to um, run this task in every time we run a new build. Because in Azure DevOps, like in other um, uh, CI CD uh, tools, at first, the agent or the controller that will run this pipeline, it might run on a virtual machine that doesn't have Helm installed. So we, we need to make sure that Helm is installed on that agent. And that's the role of this task. It will need to run the command init, Helm init, in order to um, install Helm on the client machine. Here you see it connects to my Kubernetes cluster, but that's not required by this task at this, um, at this stage. We just need the right connection inside the release pipeline. But I have configured it to connect because it's required by this task. And they have also specified the argument client only. This one will try to install Helm only on the client. It won't try to install it on my Kubernetes cluster. Because again, at this stage, I don't need Helm to be installed on the Kubernetes uh, cluster. I just need it on my client machine. After that, I'll go and run the command Helm package, which will take as parameter the charts slash product store, which, con which contains the um, YAML uh, files for the charts. And using the command package from here I can generate the package so the generated package will be copied inside this destination build.artifact staging directory it will be saved there so that inside the task for publishing the artifact right here will the uh, package will be um, copied inside the drop folder so that we can retrieve it later from the release pipeline so from the build right here, we have built an image, push it to Docker Hub, then we run Helm in it to install Helm on the local machine, then Helm package to generate the package, and then publish it to be retrieved from the um, release pipeline. Let's now go to the release pipeline, and right here, I have linked um, my pipeline to the, um, to the build, so that I can retrieve the drop folder and inside this pipeline we have two tasks that we need to run the first one is to install helm on both the client machine and the kubernetes cluster because again the release might run on a vm that doesn't have helm installed so we need to make sure it's installed that's the role of this task but this task actually will just try to install helm on the client machine only it won't try to install it on the um, Kubernetes cluster. To do that, we need to use the task Helm install. This one will connect to my cluster and it will install Helm on my client and the cluster. Here I have disabled it because I run this um, uh, CD pipeline from my uh, own uh, client machine. So from here, I, I'm sure I have uh, Kubernetes installed on both my client machine and my uh, cluster. Otherwise, I need to use this one, uh, this task coming from package and deploy Helm charts, 
which we can find right here if we go to look for helm then you will find this extension you need to install it to um, your azure devops account then you will be able to retrieve the tasks inside this extension after installing helm on client and server machine all right here we'll go now and install the package into the kubernetes cluster that's the role of this task helm upgrade but here uh, we are um, running helm upgrade insta instead of install because right here we want to um, when we are creating a new package we want to upgrade or update the existing application instead of uh, installing a new application that's why here i'm choosing uh, update instead of install so we have the list of all the helm commands we can choose one of them right here i want to update my application based on a file path and I'm specifying the file path for my application inside the chart path. For that, if I go right here, we can see that the uh, drop folder that we have generated its content from the CDI pipeline now have the product store.tgz file, which is the package for my application. Then I specify release name and I'm ready um, to go. In addition to that, I have specified here some additional arguments to, uh, to show that we can um, change the values specified in the values.yaml file. So in my YAML file, I have a variable called helm namespace or call it a namespace, which here will take the parameter the um, name of my uh, specified namespace. I, can, I have also uh, created another variable to substitute it with this variable for the build id now i'm ready to run the ci and cd pipeline so let's go to queue select the hosted linux preview and run the pipeline let's go and see the log files and here the agent started running my pipeline I have also configured my CD pipeline to run uh, when I have the CI run successfully. So I have configured continuous integration and continuous deployment. For that, after a few um, seconds of running the agent, now I can go to my uh, Kubernetes um, dashboard right here and I can see that I have my, um, my package deployed to my cluster. I have created a blog on Medium where I have documented all the steps that we run today in order to create the package and deploy it using Azure DevOps. This is a part of a bigger workshop that starts by uh, defining what our Helm templates are, then it creates a sample uh, Helm template, then shows all the steps needed in order to install Helm on your machine, then it shows you how you can uh, generate the package in your uh, local machine to start um, testing on your local machine before going to the uh, cluster. I hope you find those resources helpful and thank you.